here I have a piece with a one tap marker. I've added some row reminders to this piece so I can see the written and charted instructions at the same time. On row one, I have a note that I typed as well as the written instructions. As I move to the next row, I see the written instructions for this row, but I didn't add an additional note. Let's see how to add row reminders to any piece with a one tap marker. To begin, tap setup. Here, I have the written instructions I created in an earlier tutorial. To add row reminders, I will tap the row reminder button at the bottom right. To add my first reminder, I'll tap the blue plus on the right side and pick the row I'd like to add the reminder to. In this case, I'll pick row one. Here, I can type a note. I can also add an audio reminder. I have one pre-recorded that I'll choose. I have the option to have my audio play automatically when I move to the row or not. You can also mute all automatic audio in your settings. If I'd like, I can also crop a piece from anywhere in my PDF to add to this row. To do this, tap the plus next to piece. Pick the page you'd like to crop from and crop the instructions. I'm going to crop the repeat note. If needed, I can add highlights or notes to this piece using the buttons on the right. I can make another new reminder for other rows or delete a reminder. Once I've created a reminder, I can choose to copy it to other rows. To do this, tap the copy button on the right. Tap each row you'd like to copy your currently selected reminder to. If you accidentally tap a row, just tap it again to deselect it. Once you've selected the rows you want to copy to, tap copy. When you have more than one reminder, tap in the bottom right to select and view that reminder's contents and make any edits. Once you're done adding reminders, tap the arrow upper right to return to normal setup. You can edit your row reminders again anytime. For now, let's return to knit mode to see our new reminders. Tap the mode button upper right and tap knit. If your row has a reminder, you can see it in the bottom area. That bottom view adjusts as needed. Here you can see my reminder for row two. To view the key or other information, tap the appropriate button on the bottom right. If you have both a row reminder and smart counters, tap the row to detail button to toggle between the reminder and smart counters. Happy knitting!